Hello filmmakers. So you hear this all the time about the low light settings of your camera. So I have the Canon C70. Is this a good low light uh, camera? I don't know. Uh, you hear all this about uh, Canon being less good than Sony. So as I have Canon, I'm interested in doing the best I can to improve the low light capabilities and uh, regarding to the settings of the camera. So uh, you hear this all the time about if there's low light, you should not high put your ISO up because that destroys the picture. So you should actually put the ISO down to get more dynamic range and better picture quality. And of course, if there is low light and you put the ISO down, you have to recover this in post. So I thought, well, um, I can do a little, not scientific, but uh, an experiment here in my in my studio so i put up my color checker i uh, exposed uh, or i put the camera on, onto the color checker and i made a low light scenario uh, i um, had the light very low and on, on a low uh, effect and so uh, this this in the, the start of the test the picture was already underexposed quite a lot so the white uh, field on my color checker which is supposed to be somewhere around 80 percent or maybe above uh, was at 40 so it was already quite a, a low low light scenario so and from there i i put my iso down in steps and then i tried to recover uh, these clips with a lower iso and then just compare them so I have this this set of clips with the identical uh, light with just lower and lower ISO and then recovered in post as good as as I managed uh, and it wasn't easy uh, and um, then I also have the same sequence just copied and I applied some noise reduction to it um, because I think maybe some cameras do it already in the camera a lot so I, I did the best I could to um do some noise reduction and then uh, i did a second experiment that was kind of the other way around which is i had a super super low light scenario where the, the setup was about the same i just i, I just applied more nds so i had one percent on my light and I had a few uh, nd on the, on the camera so uh, with iso 800 the the screen was almost black uh, so i had of course i had to set the the the, the focus beforehand and uh, from there i raised the iso and uh, so the picture more and more appeared in the screen and then i tried to conform all these clips also in post and of course in that experiment i in introduced a lot more noise and I also made a copy of all those clips where I applied some noise reduction. And in the second experiment, the noise reduction, I actually increased the noise reduction a bit at the last three steps just to make and um, see what, what, what I could make with that because of lots of noise, of course. So enjoy these, uh, these clips and uh, Hopefully they will give you some information on how to use your camera in low light uh, here on. Thank you. So now the white uh, is recovered from 40 to 80 percent and uh, the following clips are done the same. They are recovering up to the same sort of level and I realized <coughs> realize that about low iso being better is about dynamic range and not about noise but um, pulling apart a clip that has not enough uh, range creates even more noise so it's just another way of uh, experimenting with the same concept so this is now the super super low test and of course everything here is unusable it's just to see a trend to see 
can we see something? I'm just exaggerating to try to learn something. I don't have any revolutionary conclusions, um, but uh, very low ISO in low light does not seem to be a lot better. So we're going to do the same same clips here now with noise reduction and even though they are still unusable i think we can conclude here with 800 we lose a lot of color and the color cups kind of comes back at 1600 and then there will be more noise so 2500 not much difference and i think we are at 3200 and there are some color shifts there i cannot explain them but um, I, then nothing has changed in the camera or in post uh, so yeah I think the high ISO works quite well if the if the light is very low so while I'm at it uh, my friends so this is a, a test of the outer focus now of course I'm in a quite a contrasty environment here in my studio just a single light and um, it's you cannot see it but I can see that it's tracking my eye very well uh, my lights are 26% I have tons of ND I have six NDs I think yeah works very well and now I, I'm lowering the lights with my up here and now I'm at uh, six percent six percent everything now it, it lost me it lost me now you cannot see me the autofocus doesn't work anymore you can tell so now actually the autofocus, the focus is better but it's not locked on me it's not locked on my face so now now I am at 800 ISO so now I will try to now I'm at 3200 ISO and we are back so um, why is this <laughs> what how come the autofocus can see me better now because there is not more light hitting the sensor uh, as we've learned as ISO is not bringing more light high ISO is not bringing more light to the sensor so the sensor should be able to 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 catch me just as well here as with a lower ISO I don't I don't I don't get it how is this how is lowering the ISO making the making the autofocus work worse so even though even though uh, low ISO might help with the picture quality it sure makes the autofocus worse that is my conclusion uh, yeah <laughs> too bad